I was talking about all the destruction. This is uh, uh, Amos chapter 5. I'll start from verse uh, 18. I'll slide. Uh, slide. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what, it, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Right. If a man flee from a lion and a bear met him. You know, if you ran from a lion, that motherfucker lion is on your ass, and then you go a bear shot. All right, god damn. I'm here, I'm fucked up here. Let me run this way. <laughs> go ahead. You read. Sorry. Or went into the house and leaned his, leaned his hand on the wall and he, a serpent bit him. And a serpent, a serpent bit him. So a serpent got him. Damn, I can't go. I went this way, not a serpent got me. Go ahead. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? So wherever you go, it's gonna be hell on you. Now that that represents those gonna be those uh those those rushes, the that that bear, the lion, and then that 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 serpent is them Chinese. So it's gonna be you go on every side, America's gonna be bombarded. That's why I say they they hate the whore. These these nations hate the whore, but they fuck. The reason it's called a whore is because everybody takes some off. They get what they gotta get out of this bitch, bust that nut and go. They get they 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 feels and thrills, getting their money, and they they trying to go. That's but then they gonna re, they they gonna hate to see the whore leave because she has some good parts. <laughs> go ahead, all right. Uh, that's about it. Okay, thank you. Uh, there, there's a, a song, one of my favorite songs, actually, uh, by the Ghetto Boys, My Mind Playing Tricks on Me. And the song is about them hallucinating. You know, he's saying, you know, there's a nigga peeping on my window, you know, every time the wind blows. And imagine shit like that actually happening. You know, that was actually a song, but, you know, it's about being paranoid. You know, you've been, there's, I'm sure everybody can attest, there's been times, you know, they've been paranoid like that. Now imagine when you actually know there is shit like that. You know, you know that damn if I go here, damn I might get hit by a bus. But if I run over here, I might get hit by a train. You know, shit like that. When that fucks up your mind, you can't think straight because you're more concerned about surviving at that particular moment more so than looking uh, past into the future and looking for what you're gonna do like 10 minutes from now, a day from now, uh, uh, a month from now. You can't think like that. You're thinking about damn, like how do I survive at this very second, at this very hour? Right. Uh, how you gonna survive? The reason, how are you gonna survive? That's what uh, Ezra was saying. Woe is me, woe is me. Who's gonna deliver me in those days? How am I gonna survive when this shit go down? We barely surviving now. But we, right now, they're giving us our, 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 our we was, we been, still being nurtured. You know? We're still being fed by this so-called white man. We're still being given things. You don't have no money, you can go to the welfare office and get things, man. But how are we gonna survive when that shit go down, when it's winter time? That's why I say pray your fight be not in the winter. Pray it be not in the Sabbath day. <clears throat> hey, uh, also too, that's why the scripture says in uh, Isaiah, the wisdom and knowledge to be the stability of thy time. Right, right. Because when you have wisdom and knowledge, you are a little more confident and comfortable. You're okay, M Michael's gonna fight for me at some point. You know, most high is gonna be coming. But when you don't know none of that, that's when when you don't know, you get depressed. Like put it like this: like uh, there was a fight recently with uh, uh, Ronda Rousey and Holly Holland. All right, and uh, one of the things is that Holly Holland whooped her ass, you know. And she, she, uh, the bitch Ronda Rousey, she said she wanted to commit suicide. You know, she thought about committing suicide. Now you know what I thought about that? I thought that was a weak-minded person because deep down, if you get your ass beat, if you really think you can beat their ass. You're not depressed. Right. You know, if put like this, if you uh if you get your ass beat, you know what adjustment to make. That's wisdom. Right. That's now it's okay, I'm getting my ass whooped, but I know mentally what adjustment to make. But you get depressed when you don't know what adjustment to make. You know, so when somebody whooping your ass and you don't know what adjustment to make, you're like, damn, like I wanna commit my I wanna kill myself. Like if you like, if you ever been broke and you know when your next paycheck is coming, you're not depressed. But when you're broke and you don't know how to pay your rent, that's when you get depressed, is you not knowing. So when you got stuff like this or a bear coming, stuff like that, you not knowing is gonna fuck you up. But you're, when you have wisdom, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it, this is how I'm gonna approach this, that gives you a lot of stability. You know, so like let's say like uh, somebody like, let's say Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Ali, 
when he because he's fought Joe Frazier before he's lost but he came back again is because you know wisdom and knowledge he has of, of the actual boxing game he knows how to what adjustments to make and you know that gives him a little bit of stability he's okay you know I'm gonna come and approach the fight like this I did this wrong this is what I need to do. That little bit of wisdom gives them stability. But when you have no idea what you did wrong or have no clue and know nothing, when you're ignorant, that's when you know you have no stability at all. It's always wisdom that gives you a little bit of stability. That's right. <clears throat> it's wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures is telling you a lot about how you should you should prepare yourself for this war. Because this is the thing that we gotta realize. We are the true preppers of the of this thing. We we the one who's we're prepping for the Lord to come. And this is what we're doing. We're out here to prepare and warn our people that the, the, the end is coming very soon. Because we hear wars and rumors of wars. It's pinging, they, they're, it's pinging off each other. We know that Russia is going to be the, the one that, that's going to fight against America. And we know uh, uh, Asia, I mean not Asia, China is going to be part of that thing. and Because they, they're going to help the, the, the smaller countries. We know this. But... We we gotta start looking at this as Israelites that we gotta we are here because the most high put us here on our punishment. You know, and people and brothers recognize that and they come out to the highways and byways and believe in the word that Yahweh Shimei Al Shah brought out. Now you start he start suffering with you, he start putting your thing with he start putting it in your mind that what you are. Now you start reading, now he's suffering with you. Now he let you know that okay, now the wizard not to understand him, what happened in Masada. What happened in Rome? What happened in uh, Babylon? What happened? How did I take him out? How did I tell you I was gonna take you out in, 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 Mo, in, in, in Egypt? How did I, I? Okay, now you heard there were plagues. You heard there was gonna, those plagues gonna return. Now you're gonna see those too. Okay, don't go back to the, the, the houses. Don't come back into the cities. You hear all these things. Now you know your wisdom and knowledge and understanding, which is showing you what you have to do. You show it's showing you. Okay, I don't come back into the cities because the scripture said. The spirit of the Lord is in those scriptures. It's it's it's, it's like when y'all see Harry Potter books and you see the, the, when you read he read he say something and it, the spell come out. This is what you, this is what is happening. The spirit, the, the real spirit is on this book. And when you read it, now you're getting the vision of things. Now brothers getting you get you see things. You see you see it before it happens. Now you know. Now you know at the end of BR there will be nuclear destruction that's gonna hit this place. All right. Am I gonna be in it? How I'm gonna lead this place, to Howard? Then you say there's gonna be a, uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna take you on under my wing. How was that? You gonna oh you gonna take me in the chariots? Beat me up, Scotty. That's that's how we gonna lead this place. We right. can't leave with planes. It ain't no way. We can't leave with boats. Can't we can't do that. We ain't gonna have that much time. So. That's what the new wisdom and knowledge and understanding of your scriptures get you. You got to keep your faith in this. We, like we said the other week, we said you got to set it and forget it. Right, right. Set your faith, man, and forget it because it's already set in there that you believe. You know, you ain't got to go back and reiterate, Lord. No, you don't rip. The, we, we do it because we, you know, we, 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 we in this flesh. But still, you still got to keep asking the Lord. For, for his forgiveness and, to, and and save me in that day. That's what that's what again. That's what Ezra said. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who's going to deliver me in those days? Excuse me. Who's going to deliver me in those days? You got something out? Ecclesiastical, chapter one, verse twenty. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. The fear of the Most High driving for away sins and where is present it turning for away wrath right the fear of the lord the fear of the lord man will, will 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 get you out of situations that you never thought you can get out of believe me he's always the power of your how about hashem yahweh shah is always with us man he, he's he's always with us especially the ones that fear him man really fear him you know you can't you can't think you could go to commit a, a doji and think that you, you you fear the lord that's not fearing the lord because if you, you feared the Lord, you wouldn't have did it. Kind of, that's right. You can't think that, you know, usury, uh, do, using using uh, uh, people uh, for, for your own gain is gonna be it's gonna be good for you. You know what I mean? You that, That's not fearing the Lord. You gotta love your brother, man. Not your, bro, not your brother in, in, as in 
all Israelites, because all Israel not of Israel. All Israel, Israelites will fuck you up in a second. Right. They'll kill you, man. They'll take you out. Okay. For what what Mars say for two dollars and a biscuit. <laughs> they'll fuck you up, man. And I like like you know, like going back to like Paul when he was in his ignorance, you know. You know, uh, our people, they be having that zeal, man, and they'll fuck you up. Even though they're ignorant, yeah, they'll fuck you up in the, having that zeal, you know? Right. Because our people are into every foot, foot facet of philosophy anyway. Okay. They want to jump their ass to be a Muslim. They want to be an atheist. Hey, hey, I don't know how a nigga be an atheist. But anyway, you know, but and then they want to be Mormon. They want to be a Buddhist, you know? And I, well, how you going to be a Mormon? Them niggas don't like this. <laughs> Them niggas don't like niggas. <laughs> Dude, how you gonna be that? Nah, you you got a you got a lot of uh, you got hell the the, the the damn Baptist church the, the, the church on the corner. You you get you, you you can't how our people are, are are living they living the way they live is because we are we put ourselves in this predicament. That's right. We are in the bottom for a reason. We are we we our, our bottom our, our, our beginning is at the bottom, but we know it's gonna be it's gonna go to the top. But that's only for the elect at this point. Okay. That's who the Most High is has his covering over his elect, meaning the one he selected out of the elect of elect people. So there are elect of the elect of the people that he chose. Israel is the elect nation. And the people inside, 144,000 plus the one third, which is millions, could be millions, could be, are the ones that he 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 brought as he want as the elect, the selected people that he's going to take into the kingdom to bring back his people to be a, a fair power. Because he said what he promised this to Moses that he was going to do this. He promised. He don't go. He's not mad that he will go. He will go away from his word. He's going to keep his word. So we got to believe in the power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah that we're going to get through this. We have been warning the nations that we're going to take your ass down. We have been warning our people who are like the nations, those other nations, that we're going to take them down because we're going to fly over the other nations to get their ass first. We're gonna to have to get those other nations, our, our people who are acting like the other nations first, because what they what they do, they just like them. I got two. I got two. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's just get one. He been holding. This is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. Like the like we just said, all the things that was written aforetime, like we just said, what happened in Masada, Egypt. With Ptolemy, what they did, to, what Nero did to the Christians. Nero, Nero he, he, he had a brother on Nero hard. Nero. They, he, they, that's where you get the word neuropsychology from. Meaning, Nero was a crazy motherfucker, man. He burnt down, he burnt down Rome and blamed it on the Us. Jews. On the, on the, they call it the Christians, but he blamed it on. And he, they said he was like, what, playing music or something when it was going down. He's a demon. So you know that he's the Edomite. He's a Roman. He was a Caesar. People in history know he's a demon. They that, know it. That dude is a damn demon. He killed Peter and Paul. They had to kill him. Yeah. His own people had to kill his yeah, ass. Man. Yeah. Man. They, that's how crazy it was. They took his ass out, man, because his because they know he was so crazy. That's like, man, we can't do nothing with him, but just get rid of him. They take him out. But the, the, but, but the spirit of Yahweh Shimon was shot is being is 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 is. is we good. Thank you. What is it? They trying to give us sandwiches. Oh, okay. All right. We good. Thank you, y'all. Thank you anyway. All right. See, they could be blessed for that. You know, man. They yeah, could be but, blessed. But if they trying to give us pork sandwiches. Yeah, exa bologna. exactly. I, they That's look like it's thing. bologna in there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's so, the cheapest so shit they, to get. And if, you, if you're passing out sandwiches in a bulk like that, you ain't getting the good shit. <laughs> you know? You ain't getting the good shit out of them. They give away bologna. They, right. they, I ain't seen no turkey. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> I saw. I saw. It's I heard the it's, it's a thought. Yeah, kind of. It's a thought. <laughs> but yeah, that's a thought. But that, that's what. It, that's what it could have been. But read that again. That's, that's a beautiful scripture that goes with what we're doing. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Might have hope. 
based on the, uh, current, uh, uh, the scriptures that we might have hope that we make it out of here. Because we don't know if we're going to make it out of here. We we pray every day that we're going to make it out of here. We can't say we're going to make it out of here because we still got ass out here on the highways and byways. It's not guaranteed. The only thing guaranteed is death. If, if you, you die, the only thing is guaranteed is death in this time. But the only thing is guaranteed that is that the elect of the of the nation of, of this nation will will be taken up with the Most High on that day. It's too. It's, it's, it's the only thing that we can guarantee is is that we have we have we have to have hope that we make it. That's why um, Paul said, "What does he say? Is the prisoner of hope? You gotta you gotta hope that this going you gonna make it. You know, keep your faith in this, man. Because the Most High didn't put your ear, open your eyes for no reason." He didn't give you this 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 thinking that you are Israelite or receiving that you are Israelite for no for nothing. So you got to take heed. Come out to the highways and byways and do this work. Do the work. Do 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 what you have to do. But most of all, pray, man, and believe. Because what's the scripture? But um, we we spoke another day. He said the Pharisees say, I think I'm like like this this uh basically this. This this this. I thank you. Uh, basically peasant. Because he, he was praying, he was asking the Lord for mercy. But the Pharisees, he thanked the Most High that he wasn't like that. Like man. other men. Like other men. <laughs> like this, oh, this, this, this dude right here. Like he this dude right here. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what, I forgot what scripture that was. Yeah, me. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll he said that, he said, the, the Pharisees was like, thank, thank you God that I am not like other men like this guy right here. Basically, like this peasant right here. And, uh, and and all the all the, it was funny, man. And, and he said, "I fast twice, fast uh, <laughs> twice a week. Twice a week. Yeah, yeah. I give tithes. I mean, yeah, I, I, I charity." To justify him, but the, the the one who who basically was so called of a sinner that he said, "I'm glad I'm not like him." He said he never would look up to the heaven. He said, but he said Luke he smote 18. his chest. You got it. Uh, yeah, Come on, read that. Read that. You can start at probably about uh, ten or nine. Start from the top. No, from like nine or, okay. or eighteen. Yeah. Luke nine. Yes. Yeah, right there. I got it highlighted. Luke nine. I mean Luke eighteen and nine. And he and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went in, went up into the temple to pray, and one. The one of uh, one, the one a Pharisee, Pharisee. The one a Pharisee, which you might call a, a preacher, a pastor nowadays. Go ahead. Oh, like like Nate. <laughs> yeah, like Nate. Like 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 Nate. The, head, the, the snake. And and the other a uh uh, uh publican. 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 Uh, yeah, publican is known like a yeah, a tax collector. Yeah. You know, because it it was like. They hated them, man. <laughs> they hated publicans, man. Because they trying to get that tax money, man. They hated that because uh, Matthew was one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matthew was a publican. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> they they come. <laughs> the, the, the Pharisee stood and prayed though those which with with himself. Yeah, how will I thank thee that I am not not as other men? So he's like. Thank you for not being like one of you little niggas right here. Yeah. I'm, thank you for not letting me be like this poor, wretched tax collector, this ass, this little, this asshole. nothing, this asshole, you know, being, being, being pompous. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, I thank thee that I am not as other men are ex, ex, what's that, ex, extortioners, uh, extortioners, unjust adulterers or even as the publican i fast twice in the in the week i give tithes 
of all that I possess, and the publican sta standing afar off would would not lift up, look look lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. So, so this dude was, was keep keep reading yeah, till you okay. finish that. Okay, so I, he said he wouldn't look, he wouldn't look up his eyes yes. up to heaven. But smote, he but, smote his chest. Yeah, but smote his his breast, saying, Yahweh, have mercy to me, a sinner. That's what he said. He said, that's what he said. He's like, all that. He said, he said it humbly. He said, it's smote his chest. He said, you know, just have mercy on me. You know what I mean? And, and but this, this ignorant ass, prideful motherfucker said, I'm not like other men. I don't extortion. I don't, I'm not extortioner. I don't take shit from people, basically. I'm, I, I, I fast every week. I, I'm charitable, he's basically. He's looking in the heavens. Yeah, he, he, he looking up, and he, he's, he's prideful. When he's saying it, you know, because he has things. The most high put you in a position for you not to have nothing, for you to want, so you to, so you to call him. He'll put you in positions like that, for you to call upon him. He'll put you in binds, cause you ain't calling on. Him. He, he'll put you in that. Then he'll give things to other people that he don't even want to be. He don't want to have uh, shit that he don't. He not gonna even. He not gonna. He, he not gonna really be in that. They, they're not gonna be in his graces. They can have what they want. You know, because you go, you gonna really find a man of the Lord that's really gonna have nothing. Kind of. You really gonna go live. You gonna live paycheck to paycheck. You gonna live. You gonna come out to the highways and byways. Thank you, Lord, for this hundred dollars I got for the whole week. I can get put gas. You, thank you for dropping the gas, gas prices, <laughs> so I can put twenty dollars and fill my tank up to the to the next twenty. I got to put in there. You know, I may put have another put another ten, but being humble with this thing. Being humble, yeah, you you gotta be humble with with being out here. This is humble humbleness, man. You could be we could be seen by anybody. We could be forecasting in news. We could be the police could run up on us because we said some shit about a Barack Obama. Okay. We could be put in 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 in, 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 in straits and and and, and harm and, and shot at. We could be hit by a car, a car a car a car could just come hit the curb and hit us. You know, it's many things that can happen to him. But what's happening? He keeping that Holy Spirit, that force filled his spirit and his power, and he, he not letting no man harm us, man. That's right. And hey, you got ten dollars in your pocket and, and, and you're hungry as hell, but you gotta pay for parking at camp. Camp. You know? <laughs> brother just a brother just a brother just pay for your parking. Out of out of, out of nowhere. Like today, the, the the dude told me, just put your car in the front. He said, just park it in front, I'll watch it. The guy who won it, I mean, he never did that. <laughs> he never did that, man. The Spirit of the Lord, I had a parking ticket, I had a I had a violation driving ticket. I slid on some ice and goddamn nigga said I was driving carelessly. And I go call, find, go find them, go try to get the ticket, you know, to, to, to try to pay for it. They said we don't have no tickets. God. They, this is this week, yesterday. God. We don't have the tickets. Like, man, this is. You put, he put careless driving and he put me running the stop sign. I go up there. That's the spirit of that's the Lord, man. That's, you can't tell me that ain't the how about how Shimmy I was shot working. Cause he knew that was stupid. He knew that would happen. And the nigga didn't believe me. I was sliding on the ice. I didn't want to go to the intersection, nigga. So I kept my <laughs> took my foot off the gas, I mean, off the brake and went coasting through the sign. Cause I was sliding. He didn't believe me, you know, niggas think they know every goddamn thing. Until he did it. Oh, you're right. Because he did it. He slid. That, that was funny when he came behind me. It's like, when he came behind me, old Kumo D looking ass nigga. Old cock eye bitch. I hate this shit, man. Um, Because niggas, cause niggas is prideful. And that's the same, probably the same nigga that smokes chest and said the same shit. Please. Please. <laughs> hey, I look like this little nigglet right here. Fast twice. <laughs> fast, fast twice. And, 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 and look, he pride. He, he gets full of pride. And that's his whole speech was. Who the fuck you think you is? We ain't shit. Isaiah, Isaiah, man, when Isaiah, Yahweh sh showed him, man. He showed the heavens. The heavens open. Marvelous things happen. Isaiah looked down. He didn't want to see it. 
He said he was he was of a perverse tongue and of a per, perverse nation. He looked down in the most high seen that humble. Ezra's numbered himself with the wicked. Ezra's was like, who who gonna say who gonna Oh got it? Oh god. Ezra's Ezra's was like, man, what like when he was saying our face is gonna be black as darkness, he he counted himself with that, man. Right. He didn't say he didn't say that, oh, I'm gonna be with the righteous. No, he he numbed himself with the wicked of our nation, man. We ain't shit, man. We're worms. Yahweh calls us a worm. Right. We ain't shit. We're maggots. To the most high, we're nothing. Dude, talk my fast twice a week. We're not even supposed to tell people when we fast. Right. Doing looking at the heavens. That's some proud ass shit. And that, we're all hurt. It's not a worse. We're hoping of the Lord's mercy. Right. Cause we ain't shit. All of us have done things to be put to death. And we just hoping to be saved the fuck out of here, man. Right. Ain't nobody, ain't none of us trying to be destroyed by Yahweh. Right. Niggas commit the dochi, man. That's the worst shit you can do, man. You, it, 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 it's, that's, that's the worst thing to do. You, you commit the dochi uh, uh, against your brother, man. Lord, hey, but guys are committed uh, adultery on a spiritual level, too. Okay. Hey, because what did Peter say? I have, I have, uh, I have espoused you to one husband. You know, but how is it that you that you're basically getting carried into other streams of doctrine? Right. You know, or or basically worshiping the uh, other gods. Come. You know. Come. So so you you you're spiritually committing adultery against the Most High Heavenly Father. I got reset. Reset. Oh, hold on. Let them get this. All right. This is going back to being humble, like uh, how Ak was just talking about. This is Second Edges, chapter eight. I'll start from uh. Verse 48, In this also thou art marvelous before the Most High, in that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. You know, and that was uh, the angel, wasn't it? Uriel, I think, yeah, he was talking to uh, Edris. He was telling him, he was glorifying him for not having too much pride and for being humble. Because when, like, any other man, if they were, uh, if they were, if an angel came to them and spoke to them directly, that goes straight to their head. You know, they'd be running up and down the street. Like that one dude, there's a dude calling himself Philly Jesus and shit. If y'all heard about that dude, he got hit by a car and lived. <laughs> so now he's running around wearing some Jesus type gear. Caesar. Yeah, <laughs> Caesar Borgia, that bullshit, you know. That's pride, that's over righteousness. That's judging yourself of a. Of a Thanks to Jesus. Yeah, he actually of, thinks he believes yeah, of, of a high degree, you know. Uh, somebody walk around trying to proclaim that they're uh, Yahweh shy. That's fucking blasphemy. And that blasphemy is a sin worthy unto death. And the scriptures all, also tell you that pride wasn't made for man. Yep, you know, our, right. This weak body wasn't designed to be proud. We can't do anything. We can't control our height. We can't control being sick. You can't stop yourself from being hungry. That's all up to the most high. So pride is something that you know, you're supposed to avoid entirely. I woke up with uh, my back curtain and, and you, people say, like the brother told me, if you drink a lot of water, your back won't hurt. I woke up, my back was hurting and shit, because I've been trying to drink more water, and it was hurting. I was like, man, these bodies ain't shit, man. We ain't shit. We we are nothing, man. We we need Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Can't nobody save us from this hell that's about to come. The destruction that's about to come is about to be like nothing anybody's ever seen. It's about to be fucking madness, man. You're going to be seeing your family members get put to death in front of your eyes. Right. And, and you think that's not going to bug y'all? You think you're just going to be like like normal with that? You, you going you gonna to fuck, you, it's going to fuck with you, man. The elect going to be okay. Yeah, the elect going to be straight, man. Everybody else, two-thirds, you know, two-thirds see their family die. Yeah. They ain't going to tell them what they're going to do. Yeah. That's why you got to have... So like, you need your house. You, you, you like, need that name. Like I said earlier, uh, wisdom and strength. That's, uh, I mean, like, yeah, and wisdom and strength shall be the stability of thy times. These scripture is, yeah, and Isaiah, that's what's going to keep us stable, knowing, knowing the prophecies of these scriptures. Because if you're walking down like these everyday average people, when shit gets real out here, they're not going to know why, where, or how. They're not going to know anything about it. They're not, they're not going to know what's going on. But us, we stay in the scriptures, you know, we come out and prophesy. Call upon Listen that. to the elders. Call upon the name. The yeah. most important thing, you know, that's what you have to know for salvation. Right. So when it comes, we're gonna be somewhat prepared for it in our mind. You know, we're not gonna be bugging out, losing it. We're not. We're not gonna resort to cannibalism. We're not gonna kill somebody. 
uh, over a bag of chips. We're not gonna be out here raping bitches like wild beasts. You know, we're gonna be content. They gonna come to you. <laughs> they, they gonna come to you. <laughs> yeah, you know. Right. The women gonna come to us. Right. Like I just said. Right. And that, and that name is important, man. That's what you are gonna use in that in that in that, that time in that day. You man, and you just asked the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And yes, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is the name that we use. Right. You know, it, it is. It's the it's it's Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shah. That's what it is. That's all we say. You know, he it, it said He exists. Thank you know, cause and, and, and the Son who deliver, who's gonna be the deliverer of, of this nation. So yes, that's the name we we use in that sentence because it's a damn one accord. You know, and we gotta use that more. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you gotta keep that name in this right. in this in these days, man. And I I always you you always keep this name, man. Because it's, 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 it's your defense. It, it's gonna be your defense. Can I say another thing? Uh, the, the brother, I, I always started reffing this ever since.